There's a good morning out. Come on, zoom. MD is doing cold mix again. What's up, Remy? Go get him. Go get that cat. Is that the rototiller? It is. That that big reclaimer road rototiller. Big then. Whoa. That'd be fun. It is chilly this morning. <laughs> Time to go for a coffee. Warm up. Not really any frost on the grass, but apparently got to minus four centigrade. Well, I got to minus four last night. Uh, you can see the pea leaves are a little, they're rubbery. Oats? Hmm. The oats, though. Not so much. Oh, oh, there we go. That turn up. What? It, what is this? <clears throat> Must be collared. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of suffered. But these oats, barley. Mm, these oats, surprisingly, though, not fizzed, phased. So far, a lot of other stuff is just barley. Yeah, she got slightly cooked. Peas, we'll see. Still growing. Those oats, I'm still surprised. Like, holy moly, that's a crop of oats. Wow. On the recommendation of someone, better come dig some roots up. I guess this is by the gate where trucks would drive. And this is where like, just thick. I can barely get the shovel in the ground. Like, I like stand on it and wiggle it to get in the ground. So here, actually once we get into the canopy, some of these things aren't bad. Like these are solid, was it three feet tall? No, mm, close to it. So here we go down to the roots, like hard, like, but we got a lot of little roots, like nothing's growing here, but just below soil surface, we got all these fine roots coming from, I don't know, the oats, I guess. And then also we got all these really hairy, fuzzy, Race roots, it looks like. Maybe I'll take a picture so you can zoom in. But these oats in this hard, hard ground, like, look at the stalks. Like, here's this, whatever this thing is. Must be a collared. It being tell it's kaput. It's froze. It's wrecked. Done. But these oats, like, there's a stalk. My finger is fairly decent sized, but all these brace roots, I think that's what they are, all fuzzy with, that must be good stuff. But it's hard, hard ground. I can barely get the shovel in. Kinda hard, not, not wet. Of course, there's so many roots and it's growing so actively. I can't imagine it'd be wet. The roots look yellow, which I think I remember. Actually, it's good. It means they're, they, what, they're infected with mycorrhizae or whatever, something like that. So some peas, the peas, me, a little. So this is like two, three oat seeds maybe. Look at those stalks. And this is hard ground here. No tillage done to it. Hard as a rock. Like barely get the shovel in. I 
I send that flag leaf we're at. But yeah. That's some gnarly, gnarly Another stuff. Interesting thing I see here. I stepping on this stuff is this oat plant split open. And it's like there's ice in it. Look at that. It's slush. Let's taste it. That's sweet. That tastes exactly like corn. Wow. That is sweet. That's amazing. And the oats show no signs of frost. This collard, you can see, froze like all the, the cell walls are all getting clear. Sweet clover, it's kind of touched. The peas are rubbery. The barley, you can see, kind of touched a little, just a little. But the oats not showing anything until you split it open. I guess maybe they're completely shot. Maybe they're completely froze, and we just don't know it yet. But yeah, that is like full-on crystals in there. Well, the wheat is testing 20 plus. So, one combine's gonna go try the pinola. See how that is. If not, we'll be waiting until tomorrow to try something again. A little tough. So, can't combine. Oh, we could, we're gonna combine tomorrow. Whether it's dry or not, it'll be drier than today. We're just gonna combine. If the wheat's ready, we'll do wheat. If the wheat's not ready, then we'll do a bin of pinola and just blow it. So, till then, we're gonna cut some twine off this bale shredder. Everything's already on it. It just needs a little more twine off this feed chopper. And it's going to town. Gotta get this done before fall, because now is when everyone's looking for these things, so. Yeah. There's not a lot really to do. Like, these are original knives on the feed chopper. And most people say they wear them down to they're, like, there. <laughs> so, yeah, we got lots of, uh, lots of life left in them. I honestly didn't, you haven't used this a lot, so... What do you think, squirrel? Huh? Yup, 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 yup. Uh-huh. Oh. Where's the other one? Oh. Nope. Where are you? Yep, 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 yep. Don't need any wires now. Come on, stand still. Wonder if it's mating season. <laughs> Get some babies maybe for the winter, huh? Oh, and that. Got her mounted. I gotta pretend we know what we're doing here. Maybe try some straw. Something's burning off in the distance. Either someone got a fire permit or something else is on fire. The neighbor's Lexions aren't going yet, but so they're not on fire. Oh! What are you beeping about? We're gonna go try some bales with the new thing. Go try some straw before we go combining. It turns, the monitor works. Let's 
go see if it bales straw. Well, we made our first bale with this thing. That's a dinky little bale. It is kind of small, isn't it? We did go a fair ways. Ooh, that is that is dense. It would have helped if the 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 combine laid a nicer swath, be a little more even. But hey, that's uh, that's probably not much less uh, weight than a normal uh, bale. That is small. Holy, I think we can make that a little bigger. She works. Let's make a couple more. Yeah, we upped our density some more. Still kind of crooked. That's a swath fault. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, that's tight. That's a taut ass bell. It's actually be like freaking hay. They're green stuff. Mmm, I like it. I like it. Look at this. Mm hmm. Look at that. I think we got her figured out. We got a lopsided, but that's combine fault. So these are what? Four feet wide? Yeah, by five feet tall. Oh, he's full. Is he full? I don't know. Where's the swather? Oh boy, swathers have a hard time keeping up with these mega masses. Get that thing. Ooh. Just nothing but raw massy Cummins power. Mmm. Well, that's less than ideal. All four bolts fell off. <laughs> so, look at that. Got some bolts in there. Torque to spec. See if she runs. Oh, she moves on her own power. Look at that. Fixed. Boom, done. Let's get to work. Oh, yeah. Oh, Missy. What are we? 3.5. Oh, the weeds just are flying in. Just are pouring in. You can hear the wrap of the 8.3. Straight piped awesomeness. And lugging down pretty good. Yes, sir. Freaking wild oats. Spray for them, and they still come. Oh, well. The weed's worth it. Didn't really rob any yield, so more straw to bale. And it's so fun working with two combine, or more than one. I like that one spreading the chaff, though. Let's try these weak old, where is it? Weak old celery sticks that I forgot in the combine. It tastes pretty good, actually. Look at that, it's pouring in. Can't see nothing, I guess, eh? Oh, now we're in the hills. Woo! I haven't been in hills with these combines before. Just the old whites, so. <laughs> actually, I might save that one for his other combine. Since he doesn't have as much experience in hills, so I will pick the nasty ones here. Well that was fun. I'm coming down that strip there and uh, we popped out of low range and we were in Mexican overdrive. Oh boy. Good thing I had room to uh, spin around at the end. It's alright. Oh, like these masses open the window. Listen to that. Sitting here, combine her way, and I was like, 
Oh, for frick's sake. Yeah, so anyways, I'm sitting here combining away. The light works in, on the oil pressure gauge, but the light don't work on the water temperature gauge, I guess. And I'm sitting here and this light's flickering. It's dark. This light's flickering. I was like, what's that light for? Is that the voltage light? So I turn my light on. It's the coolant light. It's like, why is it flickering? Oh, we must be close to overheating. Oh, you think? Oh, like we were almost, like we were, we've cooled down quite a bit already. Like, why did you not go off? What the heck? So now I'm sitting on the engine override here so that it doesn't, sh there we go. There. That's what the light was doing, just flickering. Why did it take till 150 degrees for you to start flickering? Oh my goodness. Let's keep that idled up and go see what's going on. Oh! That would be why the engine overheated. Holy moly! Oh my goodness. 170 degrees? Oh, that poor Cummins. Woo! Yeah, we're gonna let you sit for a couple minutes and cool down. Yitesy. And that's the last swath for wheat. That combine has a weird sound. Many a bell set or something. It's just weird. It's a little off. Sounds good, but not good. Ooh, that's it, wheat's done. Now move this swath here tonight. A little bit of custom swathing that just came up. That the neighbor blew up his swather today. So, I'll oh, swath for him. Probably tomorrow, Monday. So, yeehaw! Woo! We're almost done for the year.